Good morning, friends and family. Um, Tiffany here, just finally getting to an update for um, everyone who's been wondering what happened since we got back from taking our trailer to its um, safe spot down in California to await our journey in January to head to Orlando, Florida for um, Christ for All Nations Evangelism Boot Camp as a family. Um, when we got back, um, we flew in from Las Vegas on a Thursday and um, on Bun Saturday, we had a fundraiser planned because it had to be outside and due to COVID and Camp Koinonia um, gracefully offered us the space. And so it was just the timing of everything and praise God, the weather was great and we had a wonderful turnout and so grateful to the community and to Camp Koinonia and the musicians and um, the raffle, um, the people who, who gifted us things for the raffle. Um, and we, we ended up um, making $1,900 that day, which is incredible. Um, just overwhelmingly incredible. And I've received um, multiple uh, donations from other friends and family members um, since then. Um, the Lord just put it on their heart to help us out to get down to this school and support us um, in the tuition. That's where all the money's going right now is for the tuition for the school and the Africa trip that follows it where um, I'll be going to preach the gospel to um, thousands of um, African people. I don't know what country we're going to. I'll find that out later. But um, the total for the trip and the school is $7,500. And as of yesterday, we've paid um, $4,300. So we're well on our way and um, just wanting to utilize all the gifts that um, everyone has given financially, um, prayerfully, um, with words of encouragement and just take those gifts and, and give them back to the kingdom and, and continue to love, um, people in Jesus name. Um, now on the way while we're there, um, in this country, in Africa, wherever, um, that's my heart. And I know it's Paul's heart too. Um, so this is going to be a little bit longer um, just because I'm getting back into it, but I'm hoping that I'll be posting these more often. Um, I'll also be sending emails. I'll start an email chain um, for those of you who have requested updates that way. Um, and I'll post at the end when I put this on Facebook um, our new website and email addresses and ways to get a hold of us. So hopefully um, our story will be easier to follow along after this in smaller increments. Um, but anyway, uh, I'm taking this opportunity because Paul took the day off work and he's actually handling the kids' schoolwork this morning. Um, it's kind of one of his practice days because when we go to Florida, he will be in fact completely in charge of the kids' schooling. Um, we are hoping that we'll uh, be online um, schooling. And so today he's kind of getting comfortable again with how assignments are, how to turn them in. So I've had a good amount of time this morning to pray and be with the Lord and study and um, just get filled up spiritually. And so I thought, well, I'm all alone. I can send this update. So um, I'm studying the Torah and I'm in Isaiah 40 as the Haftarah part of the Torah study. I don't know if I pronounced that right, but um it was cool how the Lord led me to these different scriptures within Isaiah 40 and 41 to kind of uh, lead me through this um, update. And so um, I've got three scriptures and he just kind of told me to say what's been going on regarding that. And so um, I'm going for it because how can I go wrong when he's in the lead, you know? So. Um, Isaiah 40, 29 through 31 says, He gives power to the weak and strength to the powerless. Even youths will become weak and tired, and young men will fall in exhaustion. But those who trust in the Lord will find new strength. They will soar high on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not faint. And, um... That really spoke to me this morning because um, I've personally been struggling with fatigue um, 
for a couple of years now and just recently found out that um, I have a condition called ulcerative proctitis, which affects um, my, my colon as well as my um, lungs and I have constant inflammation. And so that's why I'm so fatigued. And um, Paul, as many of you know, has dealt with gut issues for more than seven years now. Um, it's still a really undiagnosed completely, but he's on medication to make it able to work and live a life. And so here we are looking at um, packing up our whole family and living in a 1980s trailer with an old truck heading across the country to go live in, you know, Orlando and um, with two kids, with online school. And um, oftentimes, you know, the enemy comes in and says, like, you're not going to be able to do this. You're, you're too weak. You get too tired. Um, there's too much to do. There's too many unknowns. And, um, and so scriptures like this, where you just, you just look at the promises and it says he gives power to the weak and strength to the powerless. And that's what we feel like. We feel weak. We feel powerless. Um, but yet every day we're, we're given the strength that we need every day. We're given the power, his power to do whatever he's asking us to do. And the interesting thing is, is it's, He's not just asking us to leave on December 30th to head down to Florida to go do this. In the meantime, he's asking me to cook for dinner church or to take that call from a friend that's having a hard day or to take the time to really hear my children and to put aside everything to focus on their schoolwork and um, to throw myself into worship on a Sunday morning and if I just stay right on that day, that moment, like this video right here, he, I have joy. I have peace. I'm not overwhelmed. I'm not like, oh gosh, I have to help my kids with the school and then we better get through this because then I have to, it's not like that. If, if I literally just draw on his strength and say, this is what he's asking me to do in love for the person in front of me, for the task in front of me, for myself sometimes, like this morning, praise God, I got to be up here for an hour and a half and just get filled up. It's true. He, I'm running and not growing weary and I'm walking and not fainting, even with this physical health condition. I'm seeing it in Paul too. So it's just so encouraging. I hope it encourages you guys too. Um, the next one is Isaiah 41, 8 through 10. But as for you, Israel, my servant, Jacob, my chosen one, descended from Abraham, my friend, I have called you back from the ends of the earth, saying, you are my servant, for I have chosen you and will not throw you away. Don't be afraid, for I am with you. Don't be discouraged, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will hold you up with my victorious right hand. And, um... I have to really cling to that chosen part. He says it multiple times in there. I'm chosen. You are chosen. I have chosen you. And that's really how I feel about this trip, about this school, about this season of life is that, you know, I was chosen for this time. Paul was chosen for this time to be a stay at home dad and to have a a new, more intimate relationship with his children. I was chosen for this time to go, um, get an education from an amazing group of evangelists and to explore um, my evangelism potential. And, um, you know, but we don't know with this trip what the outcome is, you know, we, we have just enough, you know, we don't have an abundance of money, we don't have um, a, a 20 year plan, you know, we just have right now and we have to trust in the chosenness and that when we want to get afraid or get discouraged because not every day is amazing um there's some days where we really get hit hard with some new surprises like our trailer being so old that most rv parks won't let us stay there <laughs> for longer than two weeks um because um you know they they just have those those stipulations it's like oh i mean that's discouraging but it says do not be discouraged for i am your god i will strengthen you i will help you i will hold you up with my victorious right hand and um just don't allow those thoughts to perpetuate and to oh what are we going to do what are we going to do well we're going to trust and we're going to trust in this and and so far the 
the seas are still being parted and we're just walking this path. Um, it's faith, you know, it's strengthening my faith. And then lastly, I call this the clincher. It was just like, ah, um, 4120. I am doing this. This is the Lord. I am doing this. So all who see this miracle will understand what it means that it is the Lord who has done this, the Holy one of Israel who has created it. And if any of you know anything about Paul and I's story, about our walk, about our marriage, about our children, about our financial issues, you already know the miracle that it is that I'm sitting here talking to you guys that we're being sent on this mission. It is, there has been hundreds, if not thousands of miracles that Paul and I could not have conjured up or planned you know if anything we've done everything wrong except for <laughs> pray stare at Jesus ask him give him surrender to him everything along the way to the best of our ability at the time and um and so when other people are fearful for us or have questions and and don't quite understand how is this all working together um He's been prompting me to point to the miracles that have paved the way for us to go on this trip. Like, um, well, I'll go into that another time, but, um, so it's already been a miracle. I pray that as, uh, we go on this journey and then many of you will come with us via the internet, via email, via, I mean, prayer support, financial support, that we'll just see more miracles because that's what this is saying is, you know, as we, as we go through mountains and valleys that we're sharing with you all and um, experiencing ourselves, if we just keep our eyes on him, on the way, the truth, the life, the love, um, that is the whole point of this journey is um, loving people, letting them see the love of Jesus and um, bringing his peace to the world. Um, we will all see that it is him who's doing this and we'll see the miracles along the way and hopefully all of our faith will be um encouraged all of our trust will be encouraged and so um that's where we're at um like i said we'll i'll post a website um, i'll be on facebook i'll send an email this is the beginning i'm just being obedient thank you for listening for as long as you have if you've listened to this whole thing um, and, um, prayer needs are, um, he just gave me these three things. Uh, the truck, we, uh, were obviously, if you've watched our videos before, we were having some front end issues with it pulling and we're in the process of, um, praying through who's going to work on it, what exactly it is, um, weighing out the cost of Paul working on it if we left a little earlier versus somebody else, um, so prayers for that um travel mercies obviously we're going to jump in our little green car and take it down to california and then follow each other um in january so um you know prayers for weather and safety and um, sanity in that tiny car for the first three or four days <laughs> and um and then um we are going to sell our FJ um, because we have a little green car and we have the truck down there so we really don't need to have that car and we could use that money um, to help fund our trip more um, or save up for um, the family Africa trip to Navi Soto. Um, so prayers for um, a buyer who would find joy from that vehicle and um, in a good price. So um, love you guys. Keep the faith. Um, I'm currently doing this on November 6th, so the election still, I guess, isn't, I haven't been watching, but it's still not totally decided, um, and so we all are under stress and pressure of election and COVID and holidays, and, um, but, you know, um, love prevails. Let's just keep today our next indicated step, loving the person in front of us, loving the Lord who created us, loving our neighbors as ourselves. Um, which means loving ourselves um, in his great name and through his eyes. And um, let's just keep it simple right now, uh, which is how I think he designed it. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I look forward to sharing with you more in the future and um, be praying for you guys as well as I watch your Facebook feeds and um, see the challenges life has coming your way. Reach out if you need anything, if you need prayer um, and uh 
and I love you and uh, have a great day. Bye.